This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. I attended my elementary reunion two years ago, where I met some of my former classmates. Two cases, however, interested me. The first case is of a student who emerged the first in that year's final examination. In our class, she was a hardworking student who read and wrote all the given assignments and teacher notes. However, she could only read material and classwork, especially newspapers and magazines. After elementary school, she joined the best high school, her brilliance in class continued to shine, and now she was a renowned pediatrician. Nevertheless, I quickly noted that she could not converse about the world's economy and the United States' influences in the same way. The second case involved an average performer who did not memorize all the information in his textbooks and exercise books, but was well conversant with most of the world history, current affairs, and sports among other subjects. He passed with a grade slightly above average and attended a less prestigious high school. Now, he is a publisher with one of the best publishing companies in America and can discuss any topic from science through politics and economics to childcare. These two cases left me in a dilemma of deciding who between the two passes for a well-educated person. If I were to decide that the first case is the best illustration of a well-educated person, then being well-educated would mean a person who lacks anything else in life but can perform the best in what she sets her as goals to achieve through education. This description matches that of Cohn, where he describes his wife and asks himself, or does she offer an invitation to rethink what it means to be well-educated since what she lacks hasn't prevented her from being a deep-thinking, high-functioning, multiply-credentialed, a professionally successful individual? What becomes of you after acquiring an education reflects whether you are well-educated. Being the best engineer can be used to classify you as a well-educated person even though you do not know the basics of correct grammar. The second case illustrates a knowledgeable person in diverse fields of study. He did not score the highest grades in his school life, but he can contribute wisely to any topic. If the earlier criterion were used to rank a well-educated person, does it mean that he would not fit in this group? The definition of a well-educated person cannot be universal. It should not follow certain protocols, such as passing all the standard tests or attending the schools that rank best in your country or even in the world. Instead, they should conform to what comes up with an all-round person. Poor judgment has led us to the conclusion that a well-educated person is one who is intellectually equipped. This is wrong because good education and poor education should be based on intellectual, physical, and emotional foundations, among others. The bias on understanding this concept leans so much on the intellectual side that all other values that a well-educated person has escaped the mind. For instance, if Mother Teresa could not write even the simplest algebra, should we say she was poorly educated? Our minds focus mainly on intellectuality, and the other core values, such as morality, remain passive in any judgment. In Muller's book, To the Point, Reading and Writing Short Arguments, Ellen Goodman is angry with educators and authors who do not include religious teaching in their work. Goodman understands the value of religion in people's lives, but educators and authors are different. People are evaluated depending on the number of papers and qualifications they hold rather than on the values that have made them great achievers. Many would look down on a cleaner because of his or dusty dust coat, but they would not stop and appreciate that person's bright mind. On the other hand, they would hang on to every word a professor utters on discovery without realizing that out of the whole speech, he she has made grammatical mistakes in every sentence. A well-educated person should know the purpose of education and not hold as many degrees as the programmed education system allows. The purpose of education is to give a person satisfactory information to make him reproductive economically, socially, and even morally. He, she can convert the acquired knowledge to a business idea that gives very good profits. He, she can also be of great assistance when it comes to dealing with political, moral, and even emotional matters. 
With this in mind, we should embark on changing society's perception and create a society that values intellectual development and moral, emotional, and physical development. By so doing, cases of students cheating in school or a mechanic passing for a poorly educated person would slowly die in people's minds. The focus should change from the type of school one attends to the type of schooling taking place in our schools. This would stop the evaluation of people's level of education by the grades scored on a test and judge them according to their smartness and the core values of development. It would stop setting rules and guidelines that define a well-educated person. This is in terms of educational background and skills acquired about the assigned job that alienates a certain group of people. The world should be without these rules and guidelines that have subjected many to intellectual slavery. Instead, the core values of development that hinge on intellectual, moral, emotional, and physical development should be the underlying factors guiding the world. I would compare education with the many tribes of the world with their different colors and languages. We cannot conclude that Indians are the most prominent of all or that whites rank the lowest. Just as we appreciate diversity in humanity, we should also agree that we could never come to a consensus on the definition of a well-educated or educated person. We should not judge them based on the certificates they hold or their prowess in their careers, just as we do not rank people based on their skin color and their language. Educated people cannot have standardized skills and values. Smartness should be an individual premise based on the current situation, not on what we have been holding since time immemorial. That revolves around standardized protocols of judgment depending on one's academic papers. If you want to find more works like this essay on well-educated person and their characteristics, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.